About a year ago, I had a health scare, a situation many of you can relate to, the anxiety of an uncertain outcome. Fortunately and happily, it was resolved in a few weeks and I was able to resume life as I know it. But the experience had some long-term impact. One thing I began to notice was how I'd become aware of my breathing on a conscious level. I could feel and hear a deep breath, a full breath, an exhale. And what this made me feel was gratitude. I felt grateful for being able to breathe. And because I could breathe, I could go back to my normal life, tending to my family, my home, and all of the things that are important to me. Some of the things I feel most deeply about are tied to issues of social justice and advocating for things that may contribute to tikkun olam. I hope that by working to repair things, I might leave this world a little better place for my children and grandchildren. The fact that I can breathe and that my life circumstances allow it give me the luxury of being able to focus on issues outside my own personal realm, something more to be grateful for. When I was asked to work on advocacy with the Social Justice Committee, I saw it as an opportunity to engage with a group of people who might work to achieve similar goals. I was honored and grateful to have been asked. And over the past few years, as we worked together on various projects, including revising our advocacy platforms, I have learned so much, including how each of our core issues is grounded in Jewish values. The language of social justice is steeped in words like fairness, sharing, freedom, dignity, respect, and responsibility. The concepts behind these words have helped guide me in ways to conduct a life in keeping with Jewish ideals. I feel that all I've learned and the people who are on this journey with me have enriched my life in so many ways. The efforts I've made to pursue these Jewish values have in turn fed my soul and helped me to breathe easier. And for all of this, I am grateful.